Hi. Any questions, please, guys? Charlie, that was a tough one, that wasn't it? Well, it was uh, you know, a very physical game. Uh, you know, Cook Islands were very, you know, they were up to enough of a challenge. And, uh, you know, I'm just glad the boys hang in there. Show a bit of character, mate. And you really did have to show that character at times, didn't you? Because there was that period just at the start of the second half, and then midway through the second half, but it was just do or die in your own life for all that time. Yeah, definitely, mate. I, I think we really showed a lot of character tonight. Uh, besides being physical throughout the whole game, you know, but, you know, I was just talking to the boys about, you know, composure and keeping, you know, about having their character, mate, you know, you don't need that going into the next game, you know, and, uh, yeah. Was that more like the real Tom returning, you know, because I've actually been disappointed we're not quite finishing off that game against Scotland. Yeah, definitely, mate, you know, tonight, uh, you know, as I said, you know, not taking anything away from Cook Islands, they're definitely, uh, you know, a great team, and uh, we knew they were going to be there, you know, the whole game, uh, the boys held in, mate, and, uh, yeah, just glad to get the win. I suppose as well, with, with being based in Lee, how do you feel that the community sort of came to your aid, I suppose? Oh, mate, it was fantastic, mate. I mean, everybody here, Lee, even our uh, Tolan community, mate, they've been great, you know, uh, helping us out. And, mate, it definitely felt like a home game for us, and, and I appreciate it. Brent, things were looking okay early, but they, they gave you a bit of a shock, didn't they? They come back again. Yeah, I, I'm, uh, I'm a bit sore, mate, and... Um, yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty impressed with the, um, you know, the, the competition so far. I think, um, you know, everyone, everyone, especially in these emerging pools, uh, seems to be able to, to beat any, anyone else on their given day. And um, you know, teams are certainly turning up with, with plenty, plenty of national pride. And um, you know, the, the, the Cookie Boys give us a good run there tonight, and um, you know, give us a, a few bruises to take away as well. Oh, yeah, I, I suppose so, mate. I, I've got, um, you know, I've got uh, ambitions to see that, you know, the World Cup grow, and I think we, we have to, we have to have a good showing us, you know, the emerging nations. And um, as I mentioned before, it's, um, yeah, you know, I've got a real surprise of some of the quality, you know, Scotland, you know, obviously knocked us off, and, and the Cook Islands give us a good run. Um, but. Um, yeah, I, I think it's just been well supported up here in the north, and you know, credit to the organisers. Um, they, they're packing out the little stadiums. There's, there's good atmosphere, and, the, and there's good results to go along with it. So, uh, I think that's good for the for the international game. And um, as I said, hopefully we can um, Tonga can have continued success and uh, start start by trying to get one more win. And, and, and fingers crossed, we might go through. Is that a representative weekend in the NRL, isn't it? So there's scope for more games on that weekend if. And this probably has been a good sort of example of how successful and how good the games can be. Yeah, I mentioned that you know in the, in the April test there was a good buzz around that. I think that's only going to grow in popularity. Um, there's a heavy, heavy uh, influence in the NRL of, of Polynesian-based players, and I think we have to um, you know recognise that and, and have fixtures like the the April test, um, Tonga versus Samoa, and that, that can only help to, to grow the game internationally. Um, um, so, so a few more fixtures like that would, would, would probably be good. Charlie, it looked like you picked up a couple of severe knocks in that game. Glenn and uh, I think Jason went top of the world, didn't he? So what's the score went out of the net? At the moment, mate, we're sort of just um, sort of treating it, uh, you know, um, taking it, uh, you know, the, the, the physio looking at it, a couple of little cramp and stuff like that. But as I said, mate, we'll find out tonight, but, you know, that's something we'll have to monitor for the next couple of days. You need a favour now from the United States, don't you? Are you going to watch the game on Thursday? <laughs> um, we definitely need a favour. I'm, I'm not sure what uh, what they're thinking. You know, they've played well to to get themselves in the position that they're in. I'm, I'm just hoping that they, uh, you know, not going to take this one easy and, and, and rest too many. I mean, uh, not too proud to beg. Get out there, USA, and, uh, <laughs> and, and give us a win, eh? Um, we, we're much appreciated, and uh, we'll owe you one. <laughs> Any more questions, guys? Seems like you guys had a bit more luck um, against Scotland. Obviously, right at the end of tonight, there was Jordan Rabana and uh, the, the yeah, video yeah. ref, uh, George's try in the corner, so the football gods were kind of smiling on you guys a bit. I thought George's try was, um, yeah, stay true to the 
the, the previous rulings. Um, it, look, it looked, you know, that they had a, a good play at that, and um, you know, they've sort of been going with the benefit. I think um, that one was just in line with the with the with the other rulings, but um, definitely definitely a bit of luck there with with the big fella dropping it across the line. And um, you got to you got to take that. You know, we've got done by by Scotland by two points and you know that might mean our, our World Cup campaign so it, it's so close especially at this um, you know with these little emerging nations. Daniel Tip is very good in the air but the ball on the ground do you think that's a coincidence you know they got one of their three tries from that didn't they or maybe two do you think that's maybe a tactic that teams use against him you know because he's so good in the air but maybe on the ground it takes him a while to turn around and get down to get the ball? You know, Just a coincidence, um, or do you think it's a tactic? You know? I think, uh, I'm not sure, mate. <laughs> but, uh, you know, um, I mean, every player's going to get tested. You know, mm -hmm. uh, when something whether they take it, I mean, the next something he'll take it in. But mm -hmm. as I said, we'll, that's something for us to focus as well. Mm -hmm. Everyone has a weakness, so uh, you know, we'll, we'll focus on that. And, mate. and if he does pick it up, you got to stop him. You know, I, th I thought yeah. he was pretty strong tonight too. Yeah. So uh, uh, he's he's learning tubes, and uh, I, I don't think he's um, yeah feel fulfilled his potential yet, he's still going and uh, as his confidence, you know, grows I think he'll only improve. Still on a nightmares after the grand final. <laughs> hey, oh yeah, I mean bittersweet eh, um, I think uh, yeah, he, he, he might have been the difference there. Um, yeah, a couple of a couple of touches he had, so um, good on him. Yeah. Thanks guys.